in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, Paul said, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. In this video, I'm going to show you a spirit that you should make sure that spirit never overcomes you as a child of God. Stay tuned. Welcome to this channel, a place to build your spiritual life through prayer and the word of God. My purpose for this video is to show you a spirit that you should not allow to overcome you. Try as much as possible never to allow this spirit to even come near you. It's a very dangerous spirit. I want you to stay tuned as I show you the spirit and I show you its purpose. I'm going to show you what it does. Please watch to the end. Now, the spirit I'm going to talk about is this. But first, let us read something in the book of Azar, chapter 6, verse 10. Make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and they are hear and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and convert and be healed beloved this is a spirit and that spirit is called a spirit of slumber it's a spirit that we as christians we need to take we need to be very, very serious about it. Now, this is it. What a spirit does. This spirit, is duty is to make your heart heavy. It's make your heart very stubborn. It hardens your heart. That understanding the things of God becomes very difficult. That taking in the things of God become very very difficult you find yourself battling with the word of god you find yourself rejecting the word of god it's a sign of this spirit this spirit also makes our eyes blind it causes your eyes to be very to be blind that you cannot see i'm not talking about physical sight i'm talking about spiritual sight bible says in the book of second chapter 10 verse 4 that the god of this world has blinded their eyes that the light of the gospel may be hid from them. This spirit blinds your eyes. That you don't see the light of the gospel. You don't see the truth in the word of God. And this spirit also block your ears. That you cannot hear. When God speaks to you, you can't hear. When God is speaking to you, it's very difficult for you to hear. Now, if your heart is stubborn that you cannot receive from God... If your eyes is blind, that you cannot see the things of God. And if your ears is blocked, that you cannot hear. You can just imagine. This is a spirit that we need to fight against. The spirit of slumber. It can take us into poverty and destroy our lives. Let us not give this spirit a chance. And the purpose of this spirit is to make sure that you don't believe in the word of God. It's to make sure that you do not convert. You can't convert. You stay in your sins. You cannot believe in Christ. You can't come to God. You can't come to the light of God. Because it blocks your heart. It blocks your ears and blinds your eyes. That even when the things are said to you, it's very difficult for you to believe. It's very difficult for you to take in. That is the duty of that spirit. Another purpose of that spirit is that it makes sure that you are not healed. Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 10 that its duty is that you cannot convert and cannot be healed. It blocks our healing. Fight this spirit, the spirit of slumber. Because if you don't, Bible says the entrance of his word is light. 
And it's the light of God that brings us total restoration and healing. And if the entrance of his word cannot have chance into your heart, how can you be healed? And the final thing I want to talk about is that this spirit blocks the blessings of God from coming to us. Because when he blocks our eyes, blocks our ears, harden our hearts, we cannot receive the word of God. And we, can, we cannot believe it. And this will block our blessings. Beloved, don't worry. Don't be afraid. There is a way out. And before I, I give the way out, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Subscribe. And I also want, to, I also want you to like this message. Share it with your friends. Share with them so that they shall be blessed. They shall be aware of this. Now, how do I overcome this spirit? Very simple. I want to read the scripture in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have done all to stand. It is the armor of God that will cause us to overcome the spirit of slumber. Now, what is the armor of God? Verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins got about with truth. The truth. Having the blessed spirit of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherefore ye shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, the soul of the spirit, which is of God, and praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication of all saints, Blood, put on the armor of God and pray with all prayer. That spirit will never come close to you. Let me pray for you against that spirit of slumber. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that every spirit of slumber that has taken over you, I command that spirit to be broken in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your freedom from the power of slumber. In Jesus' name, I soak you in the blood of the Lord Jesus. I cover you with the blood of the Lord Jesus. You are highly protected. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved, I pray this has been a blessing to you. Please, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And I also want you to share this video with your friends and family. Let them watch so they will be, they'll, they'll be aware of this spirit. And how to overcome that spirit. God bless you so much. Like this video. If you have any, if you have any question, please write it on the comment section below. And also, if you want me to join you in prayer, you have a prayer request. I have a link in the description section. Send me a prayer request, and I'll stand with you in prayer. God bless you. Peace.